and welcome to the Fabric Studio. Today we're going to open up one of our images, bring in a photo, and add text to create a darling little canvas bag. So let's get going. On the workspace we have one of our swatches. I've already brought in an image into the software. Now if you notice we have circles so we're going to have to crop the face on this photo and I'm going to use the elliptical crop and I'm going to try to draw as best as I can an oval or a circle around the face and then I'm going to use my crop tool. Now this photo as you can see if you click on it is three almost three inches um, so we need to resize this down so click on resize and I'm going to go down below and put a one and it automatically changes my height. Now I'm going to click on my image and copy it. Go back to my swatch, add a layer and paste in my image. I like to use control V but there's lots of different ways to do it. I'm going to hold down my shift key and carefully move the corners down to shift it and then place my image where I want it on the circle. That's my first one. I'm going to go ahead and add another layer and this time I'm going to bring my image over here. I'm going to make it smaller because I want it to go in the smaller circle this time and I'm going to rotate it because you don't want all your photos going the same direction. That way you're not going to drive yourself crazy making all your fabric fit only one way. Alright, again another layer, control V and this way I'm not disturbing anything underneath. This time I'm going to keep my photo just below the pink color. I need to make it a tiny bit smaller and I'm going to take it clicking on my right mouse and rotate it completely going in a different direction. Hit enter. Now I'm going to add another layer and I'm going to add my text. I use my eyedropper to match my colors. I'm going to click on my text tool. It's going to bring in a font and I've already picked out my font and I'm going to start typing Amy. Alright, now I'm going to use my rectangular select tool. I'm going to go and surround it and then click on my select tool and place it wherever I want. Alright, you're going to keep on doing this um, until you get all the different um, names where you want them. Once your swatch is done, you're going to save it as a .png file and um, you cannot do a repeat on it until it's saved. So you'll be going to File, Save As and um, we're not going to go through that right now. Once it's done, you're going to go to create your pattern and using the autofill function of the software, it's going to repeat. Once that is done, you are now ready to start um, constructing your project.